from the Tribune News Network, this is Newsbreak. I'm Krishna Russell. Stephen Gardner can now add the 2020 Olympic Games title to his 2019 World Championship crown on the biggest stage in the world on Thursday night. At the Tokyo National Stadium, Gardner stormed from a conservative start in the first 150 meters to pour it over on the last 300 meters, extending his lead on the home stretch for an easy victory in a season's best of 43.85 seconds. Colombia's Anthony Zambrano managed to put a little daylight between the rest of the field and Gardner to celebrate with the silver in 44.08. Grenada's Karani James picked up the third medal with the bronze in 44.19. He won the gold in 2012 in London, England, and silver in 2016 in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. The Royal Bahamas Police Force has confirmed missing pilot Oran Munro is in custody in Venezuela and being questioned for alleged drug trafficking. Munro, a former employee of the now non-operational Sky Bahamas, was last seen on July 24th, according to a Royal Bahamas Police Force missing persons bulletin, which was issued on Saturday. The RBPF bulletin asked anyone who saw Munro to contact the Criminal Investigations Department. Since then, social media has been buzzing with claims of sightings of the 33-year-old in Abaco. However, according to Chief Superintendent Roberto Goodman, officer in charge of the Drug Enforcement Unit, Monroe's plane crashed in Venezuela. The flight began in Abaco, he said. Earlier this week, owner of the now-defunct Sky Bahamas, Captain Randy Butler, told the Tribune he reported a private plane missing. Pick up a copy of today's Tribune for more on this story. Attorney Wayne Monroe QC, the Progressive Liberal Party's candidate for Freetown in the next general election, has been hospitalized with COVID-19. In an interview with the Tribune yesterday, Mr. Monroe said following a CT scan of his lung, it has been confirmed he will need treatment in hospital. Yesterday, Mr. Monroe released a statement confirming his positive COVID-19 result. Incumbent and Free National Movement candidate for Freetown Dionisio Diaguilar has offered best wishes to Mr. Monroe. Virgin Atlantic yesterday announced the launch of twice-weekly services from the Bahamas to Heathrow, London, beginning November 20th. British Airways has also confirmed it is now operating three times a week to Nassau. In a press statement, Virgin Atlantic explained the new services aim to respond to the demand from travelers looking to swap their staycations for vacations in the vibrant city of London or to visit friends and family in the UK. The new service was immediately welcomed by Minister of Tourism and Aviation Dionisio Diaguilar. He said, quote, we are incredibly thrilled about Virgin Atlantic's new twice-weekly airlift services from London's Heathrow Airport, which will allow travelers to opt for a direct flight to the capital of the Bahamas. There is a growing demand among UK travelers seeking a tropical Bahamian escape. We look forward to welcoming them to our beautiful shores to experience what makes our country a unique Caribbean destination unlike any other. Your complete news and information source, this is the Tribune News Network. In international news, state lawmakers told Governor Andrew Cuomo on Thursday that their ongoing impeachment investigation is almost done and gave him a deadline of August 13th to provide additional evidence. Since March, the Assembly's Judiciary Committee has been investigating whether there are grounds to impeach the Democratic governor over sexual harassment allegations, misleading the public about COVID-19 outbreaks at nursing homes, and using state resources and staff for his $5 million book deal. The Delta variant is challenging China's costly strategy of isolating cities, prompting warnings that Chinese leaders, who were confident they could keep the coronavirus out of the country, need a less disruptive approach. As the highly contagious variant pushes leaders in the United States, Australia and elsewhere to renew restrictions, President Xi Jinping's government is fighting the most serious outbreak since last year's peak in Wuhan. The Tribune's AccuWeather update a service of Bahamas Power and Light Company. Upper-level troughing along with tropical moisture continues to support the weather across the Bahamas, while high pressure generates gentle to fresh breezes over the islands. Mariners and residents should be alert for possible funnel cloud activity during showers and thunderstorms. Swimmers in the central and southeast islands should be vigilant for possible rip currents along east and south coast beaches. Residents are advised to limit outdoor activity and remain hydrated 
reported during triple-digit heat indices. In the northwest Bahamas, it'll be partly cloudy to cloudy, hot and humid, with scattered showers and isolated thunderstorms through tonight. Gusty winds and higher seas are expected during showers and thunderstorms. Winds southeast to south at 10 to 15 knots, seas 2 to 4 feet over the ocean. In the central and southeast Bahamas, it'll be partly sunny, hot and breezy, with isolated showers and thunderstorms, becoming fair and warm with isolated showers or thunderstorms tonight. Small craft's caution is in effect. Winds east to southeast at 15 to 20 knots, seas 4 to 6 feet over the ocean. We'll have a daytime high temperature of 92 degrees, a heat index of 103, and an overnight low temperature of 75. The sun will set this afternoon at 750 and will rise tomorrow morning at 640. That's Newsbreak. Details of the day's top stories in the Tribune newspaper, now on the streets, or stay up to date online at Tribune242.com.